Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 9 in the authentication module titled Brute Forcing ST Logged In Cookie. Alright, let's get started. This lab allows users to stay logged in even after they close their browser session. The cookie used to provide this functionality is vulnerable to brute forcing. To solve the lab, brute force Carlos's cookie to gain access to his My Accounts page. And then you've got your credentials, the victim's credentials, and candidate passwords. So the target goal over here is to exploit a vulnerability in the stay logged in functionality to brute force a valid cookie for the Carlos user and then access the Carlos account. All right, let's get started. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already being passed in my Burp proxy. I am using the professional version of Burp because we will be using the intruder functionality, which is heavily throttled in the community edition. And so if you're using the community edition, it might take some time to exploit the vulnerability. We will be scripting it in Python. And so if you don't have the professional version, you could just write the Python script. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is log in with the regular user account credentials that we were given just to see how the authentication functionality works. So let's hit log in. This is the post request that is performed. Now, if we look at it over here, you could see it's a post request to the slash login endpoint. It takes in the username, the password, and then the stay logged in flag. And um, when you send the request, it responds with two cookies, the session cookie, which is the regular cookie, and then the stay logged in cookie, which allows you to continue being logged into the application even after you've closed the browser. So this over here doesn't look random to me, so I'm going to copy it and go to decoder, put it in here, and then decode as base64. And you could see over here, it's definitely not random. It's the name of the user that we just logged into, and then a semicolon, and then what looks like an MD5 hash password. So I'm going to copy this just to confirm that it is an MD5 hash of the password. I'm going to go to crackstation.net, put it in here, say I'm not a robot, and then select all the traffic lights, hit verify, and then click on crack hashes, and here we go. So this does confirm that this is an MD5 hash, and uh, the plain text password was Peter. And so this stay logged in cookie has the hash of the user, which means that what we could do is if they don't have any brute force prevention mechanisms, then we could potentially brute force the password of the Carlos user if he is logged into the application or he has logged into the application previously and clicked on the stay login flag. All right, so before we do that, uh, let's make a few notes. So the password is uh, base64 of the username, a colon, and then an MD5 hash of the password. Okay, so this looks good. So what we're going to do is essentially we're going to base64, Carlos, because Carlos is the account that we want to access, and then we're going to MD5 hash every possible password that we have and then we're going to submit it as the stay logged in cookie and if we get the my account page of carlos that means we've brute forced carlos's password if we don't get the my account page of carlos that means it was the incorrect password now before we leave this page a quick disclaimer you should never put hashes in an online application because that's considered a breach of information you should always use an offline cracking tool like Hashcat. But because this is an exercise, I'd rather just do it here than use Hashcat for that. All right, let's log out. Go back to Burp, go to proxy. Now this post request right over here, if we see HTTP history, after we logged in, it makes a request to the My Account page, and that contains the stay logged in cookie. So let's send this to Intruder. And then in Intruder, we're going to click on Clear. The session cookie should be empty because what happens is if you have a stay logged in cookie that is valid, it'll generate a new session for you. And then over here, this is what we want to brute force. So click Add. And then under payloads, we're going to say it's a simple list. And we're going to get that from the candidate passwords. 
Let's copy it. Click paste. And we can just put the raw password because we saw over here, this is the format that is used for this day logged in cookie. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make use of payload processing to perform this action over here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is MD5 hash the password. So hash. And then we're looking for MD5, click okay. And then we're gonna add a prefix, which is Carlos. That's the account we're trying to brute force. Click OK. And then we're going to base 64 the entire string. So encode. And the encoding mechanism is base 64. And this looks good. So what this does is essentially for each payload over here, so for each password, it'll first MD5 hash the password, and then it'll add Carlos colon to that. And then for the entire string, it'll be 64 encoded. Okay, this looks good. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Go to positions and click on start attack. And you could see over here, I get a 200 OK for the one that is valid. And then 302, that leads me to the login page for an invalid one. And so I'm looking for another 200 OK. And I find it right over here. So you could see over here, it, the response over here, if we render, is Carlos's account. So we successfully completed the exercise. And if we go back, you could see it says, congratulations, you solved the lab. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability using Burp Intruder. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.